Welcome back to my progress in the PGA Tour uh, on PGA Tour 2K21 for PS4. Uh, today's event is the Shriners Hospital for Children Open at TPC Summerlin. Let's get on with it. Coming off the back of a first win in my maiden event. Try and keep that progression going. Let's go. Just started a new sponsorship deal with Wilson as well. On the game, obviously. No one's gonna, no one at Wilson's gonna talk to me on this. Hello and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Back with my old mate Rich Bean here at TPC Summer, and I'm Luke Elvey. Rich, his opening hole. Take us through. There we go. I'm happy with that. No need for the driver. Driver brings the second shot in a little bit too close. They can tuck this pin over the left hand side, make it very challenging. But a little bit slow. It's all set up to nice something. Let's see how it unfolds. Setting up here with a very long putt. Oof. Looking a bit pacey on that green. Uh, this is just hitting hope, I believe. Nah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. Start off. Nice par. The second at TPC Summerland is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill. So a strong drive here will set up nice and strong approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back for the three middle and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Um, still not a fan of these. Can't find a setting for this just yet. And here we are. Go on, Cameron Champ is meant to be my rival on this game at the moment as well. Let's just get on with it. got a head full of confidence, Rich, coming off a last start win. The game is coming easy to this player right now, so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week. Ooh, slow again. What is going on? This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. This part is from 14 feet. Get excited. This could go in. Of course it's going in. Never doubt me. So no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Unfortunately backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard loop. Backing up, I've played two holes, mate. Calm down. Second shot here on the third. Going with the five wood. Oh, no, 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 no. As soon as the head cover came off the five medal, I thought it was a bit too much club. Oh no! Very, very poor, poor planning here. Oh wow! Not very confident in me getting this, are they? Oh, 
close enough. That's a shocker, that is. Not a banker either. This is a good chance. Oh. A good cut to hold for One over. Not a good round. Straight away par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left there hand are to be avoided. Really, not much to this much better, much be better. accurate on approach. One win is good, but two wins would be great. Going with the pitching wedge here. Look at the line on this That's one. a shot. That's much better. That's an absolute ripper. Try and get that drop shot back already. Oh no! Get rid of these straight away. No, thank you. Here's a chance to get up and down from the green side bunker. A chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. There we go. Move on. Gotta say. Putting this well from this distance is a huge oh, par threes. Bloody eight par threes. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Left yourself an opportunity. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a oh, second. Oh, not again. Sitting at one over. Don't care about Cameron Champ. Choosing the nine iron. And back to the course with the live action. This would be a good putt to hold. It would help move you into the top ten. Move that over a touch. Come on, break, break, break. Go on. That's more like it. The sixth at TPC Summerlin. Is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position Ooh, your drive on the no. right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Opting for the nine iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Nah, no, it's coming back. Nicely done. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Oh, I couldn't do that. Um. There we go. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Just two shots back after that hole. Plenty of time to make it, plenty of time to move up. Par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. There we go. Nice little wedge in here and try and make a bird. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Nice and long. Oh. Really not a fan of these in round highlights. Over the last handful of years, Rich, we've had a bunch of players come out on tour, but few have impressed more than Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas is this younger generation of player who's absolutely fearless. He knows that he belongs on the PGA Tour, and it shows week in and week out with his style of play. Putting for birdie. There we go. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And with that, they move to three under par. Keep chipping away at this scorecard. Oh wow. Three, 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here. 
but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Ooh, no. This would be a great up and down. Ah. Thought I was going to drop that one in. I'm only two behind. The ninth at TPC Sutherland is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left in the tee. Then, if safe Ooh, in the wow. fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play the left half of this green and feed down to any whole location. That's big. Chance, no doubt. For the five wood, need this one to kick right. Well, that's not too bad. I'll take that for two. And here we are with the third shot, just a couple back from our leader. Oh no, what's happened here? Setting up in the bunker here. Now I have to try and walk away with a par now. Ouch. That's a very costly mistake to make. Well, I mean, I'm not dropped the shoe up, but it's okay. So the striking distance. Got over across it a touch. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Put themselves right back in position to win straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good Ooh, vibes go on. that last win. Go Next on. More of the same this week. What an opportunity to make a birdie. A short game lovely. Simply lovely. Might have to step up the uh, level on this. I've currently got it set on normal, normal player, normal player difficulty, shall I say? Normal conditions, nothing too strenuous. But I think I'm gonna have to step it up because this is getting, I wouldn't say too easy, but I'm sure there's much more of a challenge out there. And this effort by Justin Thomas just a short while ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Let's get back to it, shall we? From around 120 yards here, one stroke off the lead. Like Ooh, moving pitch. across the touch. Ah, uh, could have been worse. Oh my, I've got a chance. Oof, go on. There we go. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Should have me tied for the lead, I believe. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. There we go. The 12th here at Sutherland is another short par four. 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water. Oh no, that was awful. Right that was the awful. Line. Truly terrible. Now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Down here on the 13th, fellas, this is Gary Goodwin's next shot. Let's return to live play now. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Please. Be alright. Begging. Ah, that'll do. 
Nothing special, just get me on the green. Two puts if required. Oof, just don't smash it because that's going straight in the water. Um, bop, bop, bop. Gonna give it some sort. Go on. Break, 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 break. Oh no. But like I said, take the two put, move on to the next well, hole. Still part plenty part. of chances to get it back. is a monster par 5 measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with the tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you've given yourself the right number because there's a lot to this Plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. Bit fast, but I should get myself pretty close now. Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so I get for being too slow. I don't know what it is on these really short ones. I really struggle to get it up, up and down. So I, the swinger just goes way too slow. Wow, oh, even that was slow, and I felt like I was really pushing that one. It's a shocker. Just can't really afford to drop the shot. Please go in. Oh, thank God for that. Still got a few holes to play. What's with these slow swings now? Well, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm swinging it exactly as I was at the beginning of the round. It's just becoming a little bit less responsive. Okay, let's get back to the action. John, you're down there. Can you get out of this predicament? Ball really burrowed into this bunker. Of course I'm out. Don't underestimate my power. As they exit this beach, guys. Not an easy put. The return put will be, but the first one's not. I thought that was going to miss for a sec. Come on, get after it. Oh, typical. Oh no! Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Oh well, that's the outright. Oh, Adam Scott, where's he come from? That makes him tied for first. The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. The par 5 played 560 yards. The well-struck drive up the right half here gives him a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, 
make sure you got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well. Because getting like down from over the back is not that easy. Ah. A little bit long, but it's seen worse. And here we are with the third shot. Lovely, lovely. Dr. Chapinski strikes again. What a performance! Eight birdies on the card, and with that, we move to seven under. Incredible. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, down Don't care. Let me play my round. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Be good, be good. And that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Move that across. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no! Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. It's a small adjustment. Get in the hole. Oh, all square with Adam Scott going down the last. That pressure. There's a 434 yard par four with the big body of water just beyond the gully which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into Go on. Screen. Go on. This one looks to be heading for the oh, I've got to put this really close now. Only chance I've got. Yards. Chosen the pitching Ooh, reach here. Be good, be good, be good. A little bit strong. A uh, really diving green. This will be interesting. No pressure just to win the event. Go on. Round you go. Round you go. Oh no! score of 64. In you go. That'll do. Nice oh, seven under. Lots of players had a chance coming down the stretch, but only one of them rolled the dice and came up spades in their win. Was it the victory? I don't know. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam and all the hard-working folks at HP Studios. Show me the scorecard. I don't know what's happened. We'll see you next time. Yeah, in second now. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Not quite sure why, but, you know, I'd take it if it was a playoff. I thought that'd be a good, good lead-off, but... Moving on, new items and locks, more experience, more currency, and all going very well. Two events in, two victories. That FedEx Cup will win mine. And until next time when we play the next round, remember guys, I'll see you on the first tee.